Oh, give me a break. Hey! What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Magic Square Beats Back! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging! So much like the first set, this is a two-pack of Beat Back and Collide, aka Breakdown and Wild Rider, and they have a nice image of them right up front. Magic Square, kind of the G1-y grid there in the background. On this side, we have the tech specs for Beat Back. On this side, we have the tech specs for Collide. Up top, Magic Square on the bottom. Warning, don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you. And on the back of the box, you have that nice silhouette image of all five of the Stunticons, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Beat Back, and this is the next component of Magic Square's Legend Scaled Metasaur. And this is their take on Breakdown. And here he is in his vehicle mode. Let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. Of course, you have the red right there on the hood. You have a nice blue trim going across the bottom. The rims done in silver. The windshield windows just Done with black paints. Got some black there as well. Got the taillights picked out in red. And all that good stuff going on. And there is the top, there is the bottom. He rolls as rolling things should. Hooray for rolling! And for comparison, uh, here he is with the uh, Core Class Optimus Prime. Just so you can see how that works out. And here he is with G1 Breakdown because he's precious. Oh, so precious. But again, as you can see, these guys are uh, essentially G1 sized. Maybe the G1's a bit taller, but lengthwise, pretty much the same right there. So there you go. Precious. And of course, we'll bring in the other members of the team. So you can see how it is shaping up so far, and they do look quite, quite nice together. Now, as far as accessories go, um, he includes this blaster here, just done in blue. And there is nowhere to store this on the vehicle mode. It's just, 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 just no, just, just no, just no. But you also get some combined mode pieces. Uh, we get some hips. So we got a pair of those, and we also get some uh, some Menasaur toesies here. I'm guessing these are for the um, alternate alternate configurations. But yeah, we got some toes, we got some hips, and yeah, we'll show off how all that works when it's time to combine these dudes. But yeah, that is basically it for the vehicle mode. Looks pretty good in my opinion. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? <laughs> so you can get a real good spin out of him. Now, um, there are no combined mode instructions. Honestly, I assume the combined mode is just uh, that, really. But hey, no combined mode instructions. All of those come with Motormaster. So again, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But to get him into robot mode, I'm basically just going to grab him and just pretty much just crack him in half, like so. And then you can split his legs. Now you want to just take the foot, just kind of push it up so you can get like right in here and you can pull this section out and then swing it down. Once you've done that, this portion of the leg will just slide out like so. And you have a little tab that'll go into a slot right here. So you just line that up and push that in. And there you have a leg all done. Second vest, guess what? It's just like the first. So just angle that foot up so you can get in here and split all of this and rotate it down. Extend the rest of his leg. And then just slide this panel in. Slide it, slide it. There we go. Get all lined up. Like so. And there you have the lower body all done. And now we move on to the upper body. And you're just taking this hood section here. This will just pop up on a double hinge. And then you want to untab this whole roof section here. Get in there and just pop that out. You can see it just tabs into the backs of his arms. 
swing his arms out so that will come the rest of the way down so you can then get in here and flip up his head bring the shoulders down so you can bring this head the rest of the way up and then you're going to bring up the shoulders on this hinge here so you're just angling that section up like that bring that up and then this will come back and these tabs will just go into these grooves right here where the mushroom pegs are and secure all of that then you can bring the arms down they do extend a little bit they're just a little that's it then we can just kind of collapse his waist back up and there you go there you have beat back aka breakdown in his robots mode and he's a good looking g one little breakdown i do quite dig him I'm digging these guys. I really am. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at the noggin. Oh, there's the noggin. You can see you got the nice red face there. Yellow for the eyes. You got the blue there on the chest. Yeah. Nice. Transformation there. You got a little bit of black. Details picked out on the inside of the legs. His feet. Moving up the back. Pretty clean transformation. You just have the, uh, the hood hanging out back there, but oh no, not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Now articulation wise, um, the neck itself is on a ball joint at the base. Um, you don't have a lot of wiggly waggly, slight bit up, slight bit down, but you do have full rotation there. Arms can do a full 360, can move in and out. You do have bicep rotation, you have 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. You do have wrist rotation. You have waist rotation. You do have a double joint in here. So you can get an ab crunch going. Get him arching. Get him doing the limbo. You can limbo. You know, you can do all kinds of that. All kinds of limboing. Legs can go forward. That far. Back. That far. Outward. You can do the full splits. You got thigh rotation. 90 degrees of bend at the knee and the feet. They can move up, they can move down, and you have your ankle tiltage. And of course we can give him his blaster. Just pegs right into his hand for pew pewing, bang banging, pew pewing, and bang banging. And unfortunately, no, it is not bluish compatible. No blushing here, but that's fine. That's fine. So there you have that, and now for comparison, here he is with the Core Class Prime with the Core Class Megs. Here he is with G1 Breakdown because he's precious, oh so precious. And here he is with his fellow Stunticon compadres, amigos, his buddies, his pals, so we can see how the team is shaping up so far. And again, they look quite, quite good together. So there you go. So there you have beat back and uh, yeah, nice little figure, a very fun little figure, very well done little figure. The vehicle mode looks good. The robot mode looks good. The transformation, it works. It's fun. Very good quality also, these figures feel great. So yeah, very, very much enjoying this set so far, so. There you go! Now I picked these up from TF Safari. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. Now, of course, for all your other Transformers needs, you can check out BigBadToyStore.com. As always, linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. You can also check out the Magic Square Menasaur playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love, Peace, Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Magic Square beat back. And this is Emgo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Boom in your face. I don't even know what I'm doing here. But, oh, look, another one. Who are you? I'm, uh, I'm Breakdown. Breakdown, huh? Well, let me guess. 
You're programmed to only obey Megatron and not listen to a word I say, correct? That, that's what I've been told. Wonderful, wonderful. What else did he tell you? Well, he told me if I ever saw you to do this. Ow! Sorry, just following orders. Okay, now he's just playing jokes on me.